Well, you guys got another video on how to clone any operating system for free. And believe it or not, we're going to be cloning this Windows operating system with a free tool called Clonezilla, which is based on Linux. That's right, I said Linux. Because the tool Clonezilla will clone basically any operating system. So why would you want to clone your hard drive? Well, maybe you're running out of space and you want to clone to a larger drive. Or maybe you've got a mechanical drive and you want to clone to an SSD. Maybe the drive is inside the motherboard, like this NVMe drive on the left, or you want to clone to an enclosure. You can do. And once the clone's finished, you can then take the drive out the enclosure and swap it out inside your motherboard or add it to your motherboard. It's pretty straightforward. So we're going to be cloning this drive right here to an external enclosure with an NVMe drive in it. So and we're going to be booting to clonezilla but first we're going to need to download clonezilla so let's head over to the clonezilla website here and we're going to download the software so you can see right here on clonezilla's website i'll leave a link in the video description hit the download button right here you might see an advert that's okay click the cross to close that out and there we have two versions so we have a stable version here which is 3.2.1-28 uh, and this is based on debian and we also have an alternative stable version called Plucky, which is based on Ubuntu. So you can choose which one suits you. I'm going to be using the Ubuntu version right here. Now, a word of warning, when you're downloading them from this site right here, it is a bit slow and it does take quite a while. So you can look for alternatives uh, on the Internet to download faster speed. So I'm going to download the ISO type here, AMD64, which is for our CPU and there's our version right here. Now I did manage to find an alternative stable download and it's this one right here and I can download this from their server and it's 500 odd megabytes and it come down really quickly rather than waiting hours believe it or not to come down from the Clonezilla website. So they do need to make that a little bit faster for more people to use it. So you can see right here uh, the Rufus tool is what we're going to be using. So I've got my USB flash drive plugged in. I'm going to navigate to the ISO that I just downloaded right here. We can click open. And here we can choose the partition scheme, whether it's MBR or GPT. GPT is for newer systems, newer BIOSes. If you've got an older legacy hardware, you're probably going to need to use MBR. But I'm going to set this up as GPT. We're going to leave this as FAT32. That's perfectly fine here. But like I said, if you've got an older system, and it is, say, a legacy hardware, old hardware. You might want to use this MBR version, BIOS or UEFI. It's entirely up to you. I'm going to stick this on GPT, uh, non-CSM. Uh, so let's click Start. This is OK. Recommended. Click OK. It's going to wipe the drive completely clean. So if any data is on that drive, it will be erased. It's then going to install our Clonezilla to our USB flash drive so we can boot to it. You will need to change the boot order in your BIOS to boot to that USB flash drive temporarily so we can boot to Clonezilla. Now, if you're attempting something with Clonezilla, then I would assume that you know how to change the boot order. If you don't know how to change the boot order, then Clonezilla is probably not the best option for you because it is quite advanced. So we're going to come down here to the Clonezilla Live VGA with large font and to RAM. Once we press enter, the software will start to load up and you're going to see a load of code going up on the screen here, which is pretty normal. And again, I'm just going to let this load in. You can see it's loading in all of the live environment tools here. So let it just do its thing. And once we get to the option where we get to the menu screen, we'll be able to start uh, configuring our options to clone our drive. And it should look something like this. Now, this is NCHC Free Software Labs Taiwan. That's because I downloaded it from their site. But again, this should be what you're looking at. If it's slightly different, it's probably because you got your ISO from another location, which is perfectly fine. So we're going to keep the default keyboard layout at US, and we're going to start Clonezilla by using the Start Clonezilla option right here and press Enter. From here, we're going to be using Device to Device. This works directly from Disk or Partition to Disk or Partition. And this basically means disk to disk. So that's why we're going to be using 
uh, device to device or disk to disk. We're going to use the beginner mode here. So we're going to accept these default options, which is probably the best choice here. Disk to local disk is perfectly fine. So we're going to choose that option. And now we need to choose our source drive, which is the drive I'm using right here. You can see virtual NVMe disk. That's because I'm using a virtual machine to show you this in action. But now we need to choose a target destination. And this is the external uh, NVMe drive, which we're going to clone it to. Next, we can skip the check-in and repairing source file system. If you don't want to skip that, you can choose one of the other options. I'm going to skip it for this video and just press OK here. And this will move on to the next option. So let's go ahead and do that right here. Next, we're going to be either using the partition table from the source disk, or we can use create partition table proportionately. This will use the whole of the disk and proportionately set out our drive. So I'm going to be using the K1 create partition table proportionately. So let's go ahead and do that right here and choose this option. And once we've done this, we can move on to the next option right here. Yes, copy log files to Clonezilla's live USB drive. If you want to do that, you can do. And I'm going to just choose no, don't copy log files to Clonezilla live USB drive. Next, once the task is finished, we can either reboot the system or shut down. I'm going to shut it down because we need to remove that drive and put that into the computer and swap it out. And that's what we're going to be choosing right here. You're going to have to say yes to a bunch of different warnings. That's pretty normal. So just put Y for yes and press enter. And this will then continue to clone the drive to whatever target method you use, whether it will be the NVMe drive or drive in the computer or whether it's an external enclosure with an NVMe in there. That's what we've used right here. And then I can then unplug this, remove the uh, NVMe drive from there and place that into the computer and change the boot order to boot to that actual drive and it should boot up perfectly fine. Now once it's finished all of its copying of the data to the new drive I've speeded that process up but you should see something looking like this and you can now see that because we used it proportionately it's used all of the drive space on my main C drive here but it will be called G here because I've plugged it into that computer so we do have a lot more space on our g drive rather than having unallocated space it's used all of the space up for my main drive we can actually explore this drive right here and i can go to the user account on here and it should be exactly the same as what we used before and i'm going to go ahead and show you that the data is exactly the same as what we have on the desktop already there should be a folder called data and in there there should be a bunch of different stuff like registry files uh, also media creation tool exactly the same as what i have on the computer right here so it's identical and all i need to do now is i could shut down this computer and change out this drive and boot to it and it will boot perfectly fine and i would have more space on that drive because i've upgraded the drive to a larger size and that's basically it that's how you can clone any operating system using clonezilla it's a free tool you don't have to pay any money and you can clone to an external uh, enclosure just like i showed you right there which on some software you have to normally pay to do that whereas clonezilla does everything for free and it's also linux based anyway but that said my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you have any video requests like this one which was someone in the comment section then let me know in the comment section or join my Discord and let me know over there. Big shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I shall catch you on the Discord server for a chat. Links in the video description. Bye for now.